Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to make no less than three awards to Banco Interaciones Mexico. For Best Banking CEO Mexico 2015, Dr. Geraldo Salazar. Best SME Bank Mexico 2015. And Best Government Infrastructure Financing Bank Latin America 2015. Banco Interaciones is part of Grupo Financiero Interaciones and specializes in lending to Mexican states and municipalities. There have been 51 consecutive quarterly rises in profit in recent times. The bank provides personal, corporate and government banking services. Banco Interaciones has won numerous industry awards. It was founded in 1993 and has over 2,600 employees. The bank is headquartered in Mexico City where we spoke directly to the company's award-winning CEO, Dr. Gerardo Salazar. Well, hello, thank you for joining us in this special link up with Mexico City. And I'd first like to start by saying congratulations on winning the awards from Global Banking and Finance Review. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we are very excited and motivated. Our team is now set for achieving higher standards for 2016. 2015 has been a marvelous year. Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Banco Interaciones, if I may. Uh, the first one being, why do you think you've been so successful over the 12 months? And tell us about some of the, the work that you've done to make that success come true. Well, 2015 has been an outstanding year. Uh, our financial performance has been very good, and this is mainly due to three main pillars. The first pillar is market segmentation. The second pillar is product specialization. And the third one, which is very important for us, is skillful execution. Uh, this skillful execution, given our business model, has provided the right environment for us to achieve uh, very interesting metrics of performance. One of that uh, metric is a loan book expansion of uh, uh, 21%. Also, a uh, return on equity uh, 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 ratio of uh, a little above 22% and also a very uh, high quality uh, total asset book. Uh, and regarding our uh, loan book, for example, we have an NPL ratio of just 0.12%. That tells you uh, a lot about high uh, quality standards for uh, the loans that uh, we, we provide. Well, it's certainly an impressive set of figures. What do you think differentiates Banco Interaciones from other banks in the same field as yours in Mexico? Well, I will tell you that the first answer that comes to my mind is the model, the business model that we use. Uh, the business model comprises two very important value proposition. One value proposition is directly di directed to our borrowers and the other value proposition is direct, di directed to our depositors. The first one uh, is swift and fast time to market. Whenever there is a, a need that we need to satisfy uh, to our uh, borrowers, we try to do it quickly with uh, a very uh, high credit standards. The second value proposition is directed to our depositors and that's a unique risk return profile. Very high return, very low risk. We can provide a very high return given the fact that we have an almost non-existent branch network, so the uh, operating costs that we do not incur are passed as a benefit to our depositors in the form of a very high and handsome return. And also, we can provide a very low risk environment uh, to that uh, business proposal or value proposition because we operate within a very low risk environment given that we do business at the three levels of Mexican government, which is the federal government, the state government and the municipality municipalities government. Well, like most banks, of course, uh, you concentrate on certain aspects. What are those particular sectors of trading that you actually concentrate on? Well, uh, our business model has provided a very clear path uh, to do business in four business segments. The first uh, uh, profit center or investment center that we uh, try to allocate resources to 
is the government banking. Government banking uh, comprises around 62% of the total loan book. Uh, the second uh, 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 business unit is the infrastructure banking, which accounts for 22% of total loans. Uh, the third one is SME banking, that is small and mid-sized enterprises banking, that uh, accounts for 10% of total loans. And the fourth uh, business unit is federal government banking, which accounts or explains 6% of total loans. Well, I know that Banco Interaciones does concentrate on small to medium enterprise organizations across Mexico. Tell us about the work that you do there. In the last 12 months, we have achieved uh, an almost 59% increase in uh, commission income. That, uh, the, the main drive, driver behind this, uh, this performance is that we have provided innovative solution to leasing companies. Those leasing companies provide goods and services to the federal government mainly. So uh, I will think that a quick answer to your question will be that. Well, I know that one of the important areas that you concentrate on is actually promoting the fact that you are a responsible partner for setting up important Mexican infrastructure projects. Uh, certainly as investors, people come to you. Tell us why they do that and give us some of the reasons. Well, uh, there is no doubt that we have achieved a, a very good reputation in doing infrastructure lending in Mexico. I will uh, tell you that in order to do business in Mexico, you have to uh, achieve a mastery of three main aspects. The first aspect is risk mitigation. The second aspect is uh, to structure truly bankable operations. And uh, the third aspect is uh, to provide a one-stop shop experience to our customers. This one-stop shop uh, makes us uh, truly unique. We are the only Mexican bank that, ha that has a subsidiary company that provides advisory and consultancy services to our customers. But uh, let me tell you that these consultancy services go well beyond what, what is considered traditional banking services. Uh, for example, we provide tax and legal advisory services and also uh, economic and technical services to infrastructure projects. So that will make us truly unique and very different from other Mexican banks. Well, we obviously looked at some of the achievements over the past 12 months. Perhaps we could look ahead to the future now. How do you see expansion and new projects for the bank? Yeah, I, I think that they are challenging times uh, because what we're seeing is that uh, the fiscal and monetary dynamics of the world, not just for emerging markets uh, in general, but also for Mexico in particular, are providing a scenario in which we have to excel. We will uh, not reset if necessary, but just recalibrate our business model in order to achieve a higher performance and also the metrics that our investors have been accustomed to see in the last 15 years. Well, it sounds exciting. We look forward to hearing from you again in the future to see how those developments are going to be going. In the meantime, once again, thank you for joining us from Mexico City on this hookup. And indeed, congratulations once again on winning the awards from Global Banking and Finance Review. Well, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Uh, we are very excited and thank you for your time and, and the opportunity to express our thoughts regarding this uh, award.